just got back from my walk, so I'm super scruffy and messy, but I decided to come on and uh, read a story for today. So um, I'm going to load everything up, and then I'm going to be reading Jeff Goes Wild. It's about a cat. Okie dokie. Here we go. Jeff Goes Wild. Well, by Angie... Rosa Bar. I think that's what that says. Let's move this up a little bit so we can get the whole page a little higher. All right, that's better. Jeff sat by the window as the rain poured down. One bored little kitty in a big gray town. He might look small and gentle and mild, but being stuck indoors was enough to drive him wild. I am Jeff. Hear me roar. I'm a big tiger. See my stripy tiger tail, my furry tiger paws. Watch me as I growl and prowl. Fear my awesome claws. Jeffrey Fluffy McSnuggle Tom, you beastly cat. No gourmet kitty treats for you. I'm a tiger, said Jeff, so I really don't care. And he slunk off for a nap in his favorite armchair. Jeff was soon woken up by a peculiar sound. His pointy ears twitched and he looked all around. His little nose wriggled at a strange new smell. He felt a bit nervous, but curious as well. The jungle was dark and things moved all about him. Jeff bravely set off to explore his surroundings. And when something colorful caught his eye, he couldn't resist chasing a... <gasps> Butterfly! I'm a big scary tiger. See my stripy tiger tail, my furry tiger paws. Watch me as I growl and prowl. Fear my awesome claws. Jeff sprang into action and pounced quick as a flash, but he missed by a whisker and landed with a great splash. Jeff felt quite silly as he sat in that pool, so he dried his wet paws and did his best to look cool. But there in the bushes and now wide awake, secretly slithered a huge stripy snake. Hiss, hiss. The snake was quite scary, all scaly and green, but Jeff puffed up his chest and tried his best to look mean. I'm a big, strong, scary tiger. See my stripy tiger tail, my furry tiger paws. Watch me as I growl and prowl. Fear my awesome claws. The snake, looking rattled, decided to flee when he saw behind Jeff in the shade of a tree, the beastliest beast in the jungle for sure. And then all at once 
became a ground shaking roar. Oh my. Jeff and the tiger found themselves nose to nose. What have we here then, growled the tiger. Jeff froze. Well, how could he answer a question like that? I am Jeffrey Fluffy McSnuggle Tom, and I am a cat. See my stripy fluffy tail? My tiny kitty claws. Watch me as I pat and pounce with my dainty little paws. And now it's time that I was off. It was really nice to meet you. Oh, won't you stay, the tiger said. I promise not to eat you. But Jeff said, no, I have to go. He'd had quite enough of the jungle. He was tired and scared and missing his home and his tummy was starting to rumble. He knew it was time to escape, but how? Then he remembered what cats can do best. Meow! I'm good at jumping, no one can match me. I'm nimble and quick, even tigers can't catch me. I'm great at climbing way up high. I'm difficult to beat. And if I fall and fall and fall, I'll land safely on my feet. Tigers are great, purred Jeff happily, but who I am who I am and I love being me. And as he washed his paws, he smiled. It was good to be small and just a little bit wild. The end.